Hello, John Shoebridge, regional trainer from the Charlotte area. We're here this morning to demonstrate how easy it is to blueprint a car as per the needs for the collision repair industry. There are three steers that are required. The first steer we're going to perform here is what's called a caster steer. We'll steer the wheel 10 degrees to the left. Steer the wheel 10 degrees to the right. And then back to center point. During the caster steer, we have now measured caster, the steering axis inclination, and the included angle. There are several other measurements that we need that are easily accomplished simply by going to make our additional measurements. We are now going to take a measurement at 20 degrees known as the tow out on turns measurement. But what we're doing in this case now, we're turning the wheels out to 20 degrees using your inside wheel as the reference. So it's 20 degrees out to the left. 20 degrees out to the right. And then back to center point. I want to point out that the tow out on turns measurement and max steer measurements do require the wide angle targets. Now we're going to go back to our make additional measurements and we're going to select a max steer. going to do now, we're going to steer the car completely to the left, then back completely to the right, and then back to center point. And after we're at center point, there are a couple other measurements that we need to finish the job. So again, I'm going to make additional measurements. We're going to select the setback measurement. Wheel is centered. As you can see, these measurements are currently in the degrees. If we want to get a distance, we can go either millimeters or inches simply by depressing the K2 key, show values in, in distance, enter in the rim width, which in this case is 8 inches. Target offset at four inches. Again, the car needs to be steered to center point, which it already is. And now, as you can see, we get track width, wheelbase, inches, and setback is now in inches as well. We can also print this to put that in our folio for the blueprint. Once we select OK, we can go back in, make additional measurements again. Another value we need is rod height. What this is going to do is it's going to show that the vehicle is in fact in a level condition. And last but not least, we're going to take what's called a body suspension dimension audit. After selecting this, again we need the wheel width and offset. Steer to center point. And now we can see where the suspension is in relationship to the body. These numbers are great for technicians. Also, we can deliver a two-dimensional drawing. Simply by hitting the print screen, we can retrieve a copy of this for our blueprint. What this is demonstrating, it's demonstrating where the suspension is in relationship to side to side and also front to rear so that if there are, in fact, any control points that have moved during the incident, we can pick it up here.